Hi and welcome back to my wee channel, The Celtic Cyclist. Here I am gallivanting around Scotland, filming some of the interesting bits. To give you a heads up as it were, for places to visit. Today's video is Kilmarnock. Do you remember Family Fortunes on the telly? Well, imagine the question is, what is Kilmarnock known for? Football team, right. Killy Pie, right. Johnny Walker Whiskey, right. First railway in Scotland, what? Well, yes, the Kilmarnock to Troon Railway was built in 1812 to move coal and goods to the coast, and later on it was the first to use a steam local. The original train being horse-drawn. The problem it faced was that it required an act of parliament to carry passengers, but a loophole in the law allowed them to weigh the people and carry them as freight. Now that's fly. And some other interesting parts of history. In 1668, almost all the town was destroyed by fire. Started accidentally, I believe, leaving 120 families not only homeless but jobless too and they had to sleep in the nearby fields. They were spared more hardship by the generosity of parish churches fundraising throughout Scotland. So that was good. What else does Kilmarnock have? Well, it does have a Fanny by Gaslight pub and a Dick Institute. No, it's a museum and library before you ask. In fact, it is a fabulous museum with amongst a host of items on display it's got a signed letter by Elizabeth I and our own Mary Queen of Scots. It also has a comprehensive history of Kilmarnock through the years, so really it is a must see. The other thing that I really liked was the swimmer sculptures dotted all over the town centre by Shona Killoch. They made me smile, which I guess is why they are there. Can I ask, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you maybe could click the old subscribe button and help me out. It's free and by all accounts it's painless too, so go on. I'm talking too much again, so let's just get started.
So there you have it, there's Kilmarnock. I had a nice visit here and there was quite a few shops and cafes and you could easily spend a couple of hours just in the town centre but you would certainly spend a couple of hours in the Dick Institute and that's exactly what I did. One thing to look out for in the town centre is I went into the one of the shopping malls and I looked down there was what's called the execution stain and it's, that's the place where somebody was executed way back in the 1600s and I thought blimey they take shoplifting seriously in this place <laughs> only kidding it dates back to the time of the, the covenanters in Scotland being persecuted so yeah that's one of the things to look out for in the video and indeed if you're in Comarch yourself as I say if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave a comment because I always like reading them. As I look at the big clock and wall, I see that once again, time's beating me. So until the next time, bye for now.